Hi, we're people, and we put together a little poem for you. I think you guys will enjoy it, and as well has a message that will stay near to your heart. So, without further ado, here is A Big Cat Meets a Zebra. The tiger phoned the zebra and invited him to dine. He said, if you could join me, that would simply be divine. The zebra said, I thank you, but I respectfully decline. I heard you ate the antelope, and he was a friend of mine. On hearing this, the tiger cried, I must admit it's true. I also ate the buffalo, the llama, and the new. And yes, I ate the warthog, gazelle, and kangaroo. But I would never eat a creature as beautiful as you. You see, I have a secret I'm embarrassed to confide. I look on you with envy and a modicum of pride. Of all the creatures ever known, the tiger gently sighed. It seems we are the only two with such a stripy hide. Now seeing how we share this strong resemblance of the skin, I only can conclude that we are just as close as kin. This means you are my brother, and though fearsome I have been, I could not eat my brother, that would surely be a sin. The zebra thought and then replied, I'm certain you are right. The stripy coats we both possess are such a handsome sight. My brother, will you let me reconsider, if I might? My calendar is empty, so please let us dine tonight. The tiger met the zebra in his brand new fancy car and drove him to the restaurant, which wasn't very far. And they both were seated at a table near a bar and the zebra asked, what's on the grill? And the tiger said, you are. But please, you cannot dine on me, the outraged zebra cried. To cook me up and eat me is a thing I can't abide. You asked me for your trust, and I unwaringly complied. You said you could not eat me, now you plan to have me fried? And what about the envy and the modicum of pride? And what of us as brothers, since we share a stripy hide? I'm sorry, said the tiger, and he smiled as he replied. But I love the taste of zebra, so in other words, I lied.